Hi and welcome to another episode of Making Things. Today I'll be doing a demo of my hot wire block foam cutter as well as my little circular saw. Right. Now I'm sorry for the quality, I had to go back to using my cell phone. Uh, I lost my charging cable for my camera, my camcorder. It's been found but it has to be driven back to me uh, from several hours away. Uh, so if you want more details on how I've built the hot wire cutter you can go on my instructables uh, same for the circular saw blade but I've actually also already shown this uh, in another one of my videos so you can go and see that so I guess off to work so the way my hot wire cutter works is oh, I'll go in the shade here I've got a reference block which is my piece of two by four. The wiring that goes to my uh, power, uh, um, my voltage regulator. Uh, this is my battery pack harness. Again, if you want to see how I make uh, either the whole thing or just the battery pack harness for using in other home projects, uh, other hacks, just check out my instructables. I'll link all of that down at the bottom. Um, and by changing the pitch of the copper arms, on the end of which the hot wire, the nichrome is, uh, you can change the height. So I'll do a, yeah, actually I won't. It's already at the good height. I don't want to, I don't want to move it. It's not that big a deal actually. It's pretty easy to adjust once I've turned, turned it. Uh, once I've adjusted it, I just turn the screw and that kind of fastens it in place. Um, and then you just slide it along until you get to the other end. I also added a little extra, you know, unnecessary, but makes my life easier uh, feature. And it's this little laser line. It's just powered by some AAA batteries. And I pre-measured some distances. So, you know, if I wanted it for every quarter inch between 13 and a half and 14 and three quarters, which are the most frequent uh, widths of blocks that I need for my garage, you know, I can just, uh, Turn on the little light, adjust it, and uh, by keeping it on, I can also make sure that um, I'm not moving the arm with too much pressure. Uh, this is adjustable so I can change the temperature. If it's too hot, the wire breaks, but if it's too cold, there's, there's a lot of, of, um, of drag as you're moving it through the foam, and it pulls on the, come on, it pulls on the, on the wire, and it does risk either snapping it or the height so you end up with an uneven block which is why it's important for me to tighten this all right so I am doing this kind of blind sorry if I go out of sight but you should be able to see a good part of it now at the moment I do need to just pop the battery in when I'm good to go and remove it when I'm when I want to stop it but I do eventually want to put a dead man, dead man switch on the handle that way I don't need to worry about overheating my wire and just wasting it. Quite a pain. I mean, it's not really hard. It's just really annoying to have to stop, you know, wind a new wire, make sure the resistance hasn't changed too much because resistance is based on the length, although generally speaking, it doesn't make enough of a difference keep the same setup but and I just keep walking and do a piece like this in about 30 40 seconds. Well, I hope that was visible, but anyways, there you have it. Smooth as a factory cut, no mess. And uh, if you need a block that's not as long, using my 
saw I made specifically for this. Just use the the, the blade saw I made that uses a it's, a it's a friction saw. Practically like a factory finish, a little lip here, but really uh, leaps and bounds better than cutting it with a knife. Well, if this was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, leave some comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you've got ideas of things you'd like to see me try, let me know. Have a good day.